do you think the whole scare about coke intentionally being laced with fentanyl is real dude let me be can i just break this Yes. Nobody's talking about this on the internet. Yeah. Okay? I've talked about it multiple times in this podcast because it doesn't fucking make sense to oh, me. Oh, well, fuck me. But, but nobody's... But, never, but, the, but, the, but this response. <clears throat> the cartels are almost without a doubt not spiking the blow, their cocaine, with fentanyl. In fact, they're taking measures now to prevent people from using cocaine that's laced with fentanyl. All right? Do you remember when I told you earlier that the drug cartels have become completely decentralized. When they move drugs, they move them to the border, right, with the U.S., and usually sell them wholesale to Americans or, you know, Mexican-Americans, right. Latino-Americans, who then smuggle them across the border. After that, the cartel's out of it. They're like, there's no more cartel members that come to the states, basically, that and, and that sell drugs for their bosses back home. They're selling it wholesale right. and then retreating into the safety of Mexico. So the people that are spiking the coke with fentanyl are stupid dealers in the U.S. that are trying to stretch the brick, trying to stretch the coke. But are they trying to stretch the coke with fentanyl? Because if you're sell if I'm a coke dealer, yeah, I want people to keep buying co my coke, not dying not from using my dying. product. So is it, I mean, I mean, what, is it, here's what I've kind of assimilated from the whole thing is there's all, there's, I've read an article about, I think it would, might've been a vice article where a guy went to like every big city across the U S and tried the Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a vice article. Yeah. 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 And basically what he found out was that the cheap dealers who like they're who are selling to people on the streets like yeah low, like low levels yeah drug dealers they those drug dealers are also selling shit like heroin yeah so they're selling coke and heroin yeah the high level drug dealers who are dealing with like rich people or whatever they're not selling heroin right most likely right 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 so the people that they we know for a fact that they cut heroin with fentanyl Right, because almost the same effect. Right, one just more stronger. And well, cheaper. but but they is not the cartel. The cartel no, no, no. doesn't. It's dealers in the U.S. Yes, yes. Dealers so in the US. so yes, low level guys, guys buying ounces. They are using fentanyl to stretch coke because uh, a if there's an overdose, this is crazy. But fiends want it more, especially with heroin. But also, I think with cocaine a little bit. If there's if so, there's an OD, uh, you know whether it results in a death or not. You know, the junkies find out about that and they're like, oh, he's got the bomb shit. I think that's one of the reasons. Um, I think the other reason is a little bit of fentanyl goes a long way. So, and if you built up a tolerance to it, I think, I don't know, I think it's a different high. I don't exactly know the mindset behind somebody, a dealer that would do that, but we can say for a fact that the, uh, that the cartels are not spiking their coke their wholesale mm -hmm. coke with fentanyl because what we found out when we were down there from Luis is that the in order to prevent that the cartel has started pressing the heroin they make the car the, the sorry the fentanyl that they cook they've started pressing it into pink pills and and exporting the pills so that way if a dealer is chopping up fentanyl with coke that Coke is going to be, it's going to have a pinkish, oh. reddish hue to it. Okay. So, yeah, you guys stay away from that. If you use cocaine and you see that it's got a red hue to it, that means it's got fentanyl in so it. So the cartels are doing us a favor. It's trying to, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, so what I assumed is that the low-level dealers were selling Coke on one hand and heroin on the other hand could be mixing it up on the there's, same table. There's cross-contamination, cross too, for sure. Yeah, that so, absolutely but, but happens. But what you're saying is there it would be a case where having fentanyl in Coke would make somebody more addicted. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way, after spending time with these guys, I'm like, they are way too shrewd. They're way too on point they would never be intentionally killing off you know their clientele they would never be and in fact the penalty within the cartel for selling fentanyl in Culiacan is death no questions asked there is a mandate from on high the man himself he's like there Who is, is that? Zambada 
Oh, from Zimbabwe. Okay. For, yeah, and, and whoever leads, you know, Ovidio, who leads the Chapitos, right? That's the other wing of the of the Sinaloa cartel. Yeah. There is to be no selling of fentanyl in Sinaloa State. That is for export only. So it's like there's they know how dangerous it is. Right. They know how bad it is. They're like we would never taint, we would never taint a wholesale load of of Colombian coke with fentanyl. Right. Like we keep that shit. These markets are different, you know. Yeah. So. And I believe it. It makes it makes sense. These guys are smart. <laughs>